That's some pretty big news, guys. I, Maria Gloria, have officially joined the Law & Order fan club. I love it. I love that show so much. I literally, like, I'm obsessed. I'm such a big fan of that show now. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video, as the title implies, actually I don't really know what I'm titling it yet, so I can't really tell you about the title. Today's video is going to be kind of my at-home skin pampering routine, my at-home like facial routine. Basically, in a nutshell, it's going to be my at-home pamper skincare, like not my everyday skincare routine, my when it's time to pamper, when it's time to really deep clean, when it's time to really exfoliate. I do this routine every Sunday and every Wednesday. For the exception today because today is actually Tuesday but I wanted to film this video today because tomorrow's Wednesday and tomorrow's my birthday and I just kind of want to pile makeup on my face tomorrow and feel all glammed up and pretty and not really worry about doing too much you know because tomorrow's Monday. Full disclosure this video has you guys this video has maybe like three affordable products maybe everything else is on the higher end side everything else is pretty expensive. I, I'm really sorry about that but I wanted to to, like warn you guys that a lot of the stuff that I'm gonna mention you're gonna look it up and you're gonna be like holy crap Gloria and a lot of the stuff most of the stuff actually was sent to me but I have invested in good skincare like I've paid out of my pocket like my own money and I have invested in good skincare and honestly guys you get what you put out sometimes you can find like really good affordable skincare products but these guys have honestly changed my skin completely and they were a pretty penny but you know you get what you pay for and if you want good you gotta drop that good dough. You know what I'm saying? So that's what we're doing here. I do still think that getting facials is 100% like really important. I've only gotten one in my life, but honestly guys, it was super life changing. But I know how busy people can be. I know how expensive they can get. And I just know how hectic schedules can get. So I know that not everybody can afford or have the time to get a scheduled facial once a month, which is like the recommended amount of times you get facials is at least once a month. For some of us, it's like nearly impossible. So when you have like a good kind of skincare regimen at home that you can pamper yourself with to kind of get you through the months. I think that's really awesome. So that is what I'm going to show you guys today is how to take care of your skin, pamper your skin. I get a lot of compliments on my skin. Probably not right now because of because of these guys. But it's that time of the month. You know what I'm saying? So forgive me. I do get a lot of compliments on my skin. I never really have had acne or, you know, problems with my skin. I do have oily skin. So it is extra important for me to like really take care of it because I don't want to have like extra oils on my skin or like the sebum or sebum or whatever it's called. Yeah, I'm very very prone to that because again I have oily skin so yeah without further ado I don't want to make this a very long introduction this video isn't sponsored by anybody I know it's gonna seem like it's sponsored by a certain company but it's not all opinions are 100% my own even though these products were sent to me I've spoken about them in the past and I've spoken highly about them for a reason they're dope they're clutch they're everything so let's get straight into it so basically with an at-home facial you really want to focus on four things and that is getting clean exfoliating putting a mask on and then moisturizing so we're gonna follow of those steps here the first thing I'm going to do is clean off my face the reason I like to use these two together is because this consistency is really thick that it doesn't come off with just water it needs like a little extra push of something else like to really like push it off of the face this is amazing at breaking down the makeup and really making sure all the makeup comes off of like your eyes waterproof mascara waterproof liner all that stuff this makes sure every little bit of it comes off but it's so thick and so oily that it will not come off with just water or at least it's really hard to take it off with just water so I like to mix it with this guy just to really make sure I get all of it off but this is amazing at breaking down makeup. I really love it. And you don't really need a lot of this product because a lot, a little of it goes a long way. Actually, with both products, you don't need a lot of the Pixie Nourishing Cleansing Balm either. A little goes a long way. And this just helps really deep clean too. Like once you, once I take all of this off and I have most of it off, I go in with a little bit more just to really make sure I got everything off and my face is nice and clean. Next thing we're going to do is it's 
exfoliate. Now, I use a very, very, very good exfoliator. Expensive, but when I say exfoliator, this is like top dog of exfoliator. And it is the Dr. Brandt Pore Perfecting Exfoliator. This helps refine the appearance of pores, deep clean pores, helps smooth the appearance and skin texture. This stuff is amazing, you guys. This is recommended to be used two to three times per week. Like I said, I typically like to do this routine Sundays and Wednesdays because I like to start off my week with like a really good fresh slate, either Sunday or Saturday, but I absolutely always work in Wednesday. Always 100% work in Wednesday. Again, with the exception today because tomorrow's my birthday and tomorrow's Wednesday, but we already been through that. So I'm going to go ahead and use this guy and I'm going to be running back and forth to my sink while I do this because I don't have a sink in front of me, but the lighting in my bathroom and the space in my bathroom is kind of horrendous. So we're going to do with what we got, but you have to use this on dampened skin. Don't go in with dry skin with this because this stuff is extreme you guys this stuff is extreme okay so now that I have nice damp skin I'm gonna go ahead and take the smallest amount you don't need a lot with this guys you don't need a lot with this I'm gonna grab about this much I don't know dime size nickel size whatever you want to call it I don't care you don't need a lot you're gonna take this guy and I'm, I like to start from my nose because that's where I have my problem areas and my biggest pores is my nose and around here and that's where I'm most oily so I like to focus this there and then I kind of massage outward and do not press hard when using this guy guys whatever is in here does the work for you and you're going to massage this gently into your skin moving in circular motions enjoying this minty minty scent for two whole minutes just massage it into your skin for two minutes again you don't need to press hard you don't need to do much just kind of let it do its thing what's up guys how you been how you doing just kidding i'm not trying to be wendy williams please don't try to clock me in the comments Now that you're done with your two minutes, go ahead and rinse this off under warm water. I'll be right back. And remember to always pat dry your skin, guys. Like, pat, 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 pat. Rubbing is so bad for your skin. Because even if you have the softest towel, your, your skin is so delicate after having water on it that you can get, like, little cuts on it. And if you're worried about that little hand, it's not, like, a creepy hand. It's my daughter's hand. She's just kind of hanging out. Now we're going to go ahead and move on to masks. Now, this is the point of the video where you guys are going to be like, Gloria, you're hella bougie. Like, what are you doing using, like, 500 mask okay my skin is weird and I'm definitely not telling you guys to do this but it's definitely an option you guys can totally do this if you guys want I do it all the time I use different masks for different areas now sometimes I will just go ahead and use one mask for my entire face depending on what my skin is asking for at that time right now my skin is actually behaving pretty well knock on wood but I'm gonna use I think three different masks again for the purpose of this video just so you guys just to kind of show you guys what I use my mask for and kind of just to better help you guys and to give you a lot more details on like skincare and stuff in all honesty guys I don't know a lot but I know some and I do work alongside an, an esthetician that knows her stuff so let's do this for my um, most oily area you guys it is raining cats and dogs outside so if you guys hear like thunder and storming and stuff um it's pretty bad out there. Like, California is definitely not in a drought anymore. Okay, so for um, this area, which again, like I said, is my most problematic, porous, oily zone, I really love the Dr. Brandt Pores No More Vacuum Cleaner. This is a blackhead extractor mask that not only, like, extracts, like, all the little blackheads, but it really does help, like, refine and firm your pores so they're not so enlarged looking anymore. So I really like to use this in this area. It is expensive, and it does seem really small, but this this has lasted me a pretty good time and I like to apply my masks using a brush I want to thank Nicole Guerrero for teaching me this because it really does lay like lay out your mask more evenly and it disperses it out a, like a lot thinner layer because you really don't need that much so it kind of helps save you on product as well and it just is a lot less messy and a lot more hygienic in my opinion so I like to paint this onto my nose and again to about here. And this smells really good too. All of Dr. Brand stuff smell like really like good to me. They smell really minty and like fresh. Which I just, I love. This stuff is Dr. Brand. It is expensive, but it is so clutch. It's amazing. This stuff, however, has me absolutely shook. This is the Doll Face Little Black Mask Super Purifying Clearing Mask. This I'm going to use all around here because like I said, that time of the month, I'm getting a lot 
lot of breakouts here. This stuff is so, so good. Like I said, I'm going to be using this on these outer perimeters because it really just takes out all the impurities, which has been happening. And since I do have like oily skin, I have to use charcoal because it really helps like prevent me from getting milia and stuff because it really does help just suck out all the impurities before they get to the surface of my skin. And it just turns into those little bumps that don't even pop or do anything. Like they're just there to bother you and to be little annoying bitch. Again, I'm just painting this on with a foundation brush for and I know I look really weird right now I look hecka weird but this is completely norms for me because I do this on the rig but like I said sometimes I do go in with just this one and sometimes I do go in with the other one the other one I'm gonna be using is actually very affordable this one's from Freeman it is my avocado and oatmeal clay mask because my forehead is behaving really well I'm not gonna go ahead and like mess with it and anger it with any of these like more intense masks this one does a really good job at like clarifying and like purifying the skin but it doesn't strip it or make it dry so I'm gonna go ahead and go into this guy with this brush right over here and paint my forehead you guys so I've been watching Law & Order on Netflix as you guys have heard I'm sure you guys have heard if you guys watch my videos I'm sure you guys have heard and I really liked Amaro I really really freaking loved Amaro I watched the episode yesterday where spoiler alert Amaro freaking leaves and I wasn't ready like I wasn't ready for Amaro to leave I really became really connected to his character like I almost cried when he was saying goodbye to Olivia and Olivia was like even though I was with my other partner for 12 years I didn't grow you know at all with him and I don't even know what to call our relationship but I've grown so much with you over the past four years I seriously cried like honestly Amaro I don't know he was just such a cool character and like I really loved him and I'm really sad that he's gone but like I know why he's gone you know because he wasn't gonna grow anywhere there because like he has a lot of anger issues I just don't want Ice-T to leave like I really don't want Ice-T to leave because he's like even though he's like probably like not the best actor ever especially on that show he's like such a great character and like I just love him so much like I really do love Finn Tutuola like I really do like the new guy that has like the really thick accent I don't know what his name is like he's all right like the new guy the the Catholic one with the sister and the the brother-in-law that was on Orange is the New Black that guy he's pretty cool what's up with Rollins is anybody else not gonna like mention the fact that Rollins and Amaro were like you know doing you know the hanky panky and like nothing ever came out of that like it was just weird and then she got really jealous that one time like it's weird and then freaking the captain's gone honestly though Raphael Barba that's the homie that is the homie other than Ice-T he's like my number one character he's so smart he's so slick and like clever he just knows how to shut everybody up and I think he's really cute too because he's like one of those Latin guys that looks white like he's white I think he's like Cuban or something he has like blonde hair and blue eyes but he's like has that like Latin accent and he's like real suave when he wants to be okay so back to the skincare we're just gonna go ahead and let all this dry up and once all this is dry we're gonna go ahead and wash this off you guys look how freaking cute I look can you imagine if I had this thin of eyebrows I would die all these masks are recommended to be left on for 10 to 15 minutes I sometimes do do 20 to be completely aged with you guys so it really is up to you guys but it is pretty dried up now so I'm gonna go ahead and take this off now that I don't look like my dad in the 90s, I'm going to go ahead and or dry my face. And now we're going to go ahead and apply yet another mask. Now that we have stripped our skin of all of like the oils, all of basically everything, it's really important to restore back the moisture and restore back like the pH and everything. Um, and to really like let your skin breathe again. And I like to use this mask for this specific reason. And it is the Dr. Brand Oxygen Facial Flash Recovery Mask. I love this thing again this video is not sponsored all this stuff was sent to me but all opinions are my own I love this stuff I actually did a full video on it um, a really good dupe a really great dupe is the elf hydrating bubble mask both of these do the same thing but this really does do it a little bit better and since I kind of went ham on my skin I'm gonna opt for this guy because I just love what it does and it doesn't leave like a residue as opposed to this one that does leave kind of a residue you could totally look past that it washes off and everything but I'm just gonna opt for this guy I really like it because it really does restore the oxygen back into my skin so when I wash this guy off to apply my moisturizer I feel like my skin better absorbs the moisturizer and better takes in all the nutrients because it's like taking a breath of fresh air and it really helps so I'm gonna go ahead and take a couple pumps of this guy I did three pumps and I'm going to massage this all over my skin like literally everywhere let it do its thing 
It's foaming. It's foaming. Oh my god. This mask tickles so much. Like it's basically already done foaming and this is like basically my cue to wash this off. Like look, it's like just pure foam. Isn't that crazy? It's really neat though. Pat, 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 pat. I'm gonna go ahead and, ooh, I have a booger. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and spray on a toner. This is completely optional for you guys. If you guys want to skip a toner and go straight onto your moisturizer, do it. I personally cannot skip a toner anymore, especially after discovering this guy. This is my Dickinson's Original Witch Hazel Pore Perfecting Toner. Look how little I have. Like, I'm obsessed with this. Obsessed with this. Super affordable, super great toner. Gentle, rebalances the skin, really helps the pore situation out. It's just all around amazing. And the scent reminds me of when I had my baby and so I love it and I just spray it on because it's easier but I literally bathe in it and because we just use this guy it absorbs into the skin so much like faster and like easier it's amazing what this guy does and I'm going to go ahead and just kind of let that dry for my moisturizer on days where I really want to pimper my skin I go in with you guys this is hands down the most expensive product I'm going to talk about in no way am I telling you guys you guys have to go purchase this if you guys have the money to spend do it if you guys have the budget do it if you guys don't have the budget but still want to spend the money do it I am in no way the person to tell you how to spend your bills like I'm not but I'm I'm gonna be using the Charlotte Tal Tilbury Magic Cream. Now this is a legit $100 face cream, but for good reason. This is the best moisturizer I have ever used in my entire life. It really is magic. It works so well, and even though it's so expensive, I think it's worth every penny. Again, this was sent to me by Charlotte Tilbury, and I really, really appreciate you know the generosity. But would I drop $100 for this face cream? Absolutely, I would. Like I'm already expecting to have to drop that kind of dough on this. This is a hundred dollars I've had this since October and it's still working pretty well and I still have a good amount um again I don't really use this moisturizer on a daily basis I use this more on days where I want to pamper my skin and since I've gone ham on my skin I'm gonna go ahead and use this guy I love it yes it is expensive yes it is very bougie of me to be using such an expensive product but honestly guys if it works it works and it works like it really works so I'm just gonna go ahead and massage that into my skin in circular motion and seriously guys this lotion even feels luxurious like I don't know what is in it but it is amazing and then for my lips I'm gonna go in with my best damn beauty lip mask best lip mask literally ever pop that sucker on really moisturize the lips if you guys are interested in um, using this lip cream or lip mask I do have a coupon code for best damn beauty I'll go ahead and pop it up right here as well as down in my description we can't forget about those eyes for my eyes I'm gonna be using my best damn beauty eye serum and I'm going to be taking just a a couple of drops because this stuff is really concentrated and just honestly it's heavenly for your eyes and to go ahead and massage that into my skin right here feels so good and that is it you guys all in all this process takes me a good 30 minutes but it is my pamper time I always make time for it it is really important to take care of your skin and to pamper your skin there is no better foundation than a good healthy skin like your skincare should be like the foundation should be the primer should be everything and yes these products are expensive again I apologize for that but they work really well and I'm sure you can find good alternatives in the drugstore I'm sure there is if you guys want to tell me some please leave them down below and I will try to make a more affordable version of this but yeah if you guys enjoy this video please give it a thumbs up and let me know if you guys have any questions comments or concerns in the comment section down below I love to hear from you guys you guys know that but yeah I really hope you guys enjoy this video please note that when you're done with this your skin is gonna feel a little sensitive it's gonna feel it's gonna look a little red you touched it a lot you moved a lot you massaged it a lot so expect redness so just know that that's completely normal if my skin's looking a little too hyperpigmented it's usually calms down within the next half hour but yeah i really hope you guys enjoy this video take care of your skin and i love you guys and i'll catch you guys in my next one bye